Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Jimmy Richardson once again over here in the Ori community. Smack dab in the center of Ori County. Over here in the flatlands of the Carolinas along the east coast of the United States of America on this big beautiful planet we call Earth. Yes, indeed, it's a beautiful planet. The most beautiful planet, if you ask me. <clears throat> hmm. So, folks, how is this morning going? How is your day going? <clears throat> Have you got a good start this morning? Everything going good for you? My first question is, what are you doing up so early? <laughs> But I appreciate y'all hanging out with me this morning. Or if you're watching this on a video at a later time, shout out to you. No matter what time of the day it is, morning, afternoon, noon, evening, night, it makes no difference. As long as you're sitting there listening to the words coming out of my mouth, I do appreciate having you along for this little ride. It's just my way to work, doing my morning talk therapy. You know it, I know it, and let's get into this. Okay, everything off the top of my head. I dreamed all night, I have no idea what I dreamed. But once I got up, I forgot everything I dreamed. But I do remember, you know, I woke up a couple times during the night, I think. I remember dreams then, but not when I woke up, got, got out of bed, and, started my day. It's almost like my coffee flushed all them dreams away. Can't remember what it were. Anyways, I felt recharged. Felt good when I woke up this morning. Everything was working. <clears throat> That's a good thing. Because I'm a pirate at 57 years old here. So it's a good thing. Anyways, I'm rolling strong down Enoch Road this morning. Feeling pretty good. It's a little cool this morning, but feeling good. Because I'm hot natured, so cool air feels good on my body. My body, my body radiates heat. So, it does feel good. Not saying that I can handle cold weather or nothing like that. Just say that my my body heat holds for a little while before I get cold. You know what I'm saying? So long as I ain't outside for over a period of time, oh, then I'm gonna have to have a coat, jacket, coat, whatever. <clears throat> but if my body temperature, I can walk out the door and it can be bone chilling cold outside, and it won't affect me until about five minutes later and then I'm cold and then once I'm cold it's the same process warming me back up so anyway I just thought I'd throw that in there no big deal anyway moving on with this morning's talk therapy don't really have a topic yet but you know me I'll be riding along and all of a sudden I'll start talking about something so <clears throat> then once I do you know I I would get into it. <clears throat> there was one thing that uh, piqued my interest. Uh, I was watching, because I really don't watch the news because there's so much misinformation on the national news outlets and stuff because they always lean to one side and this and that and other. But anyways... There was one thing that I did catch on a podcast, because that's what I watch. I watch podcasts. And when I say podcast, I mean I watch YouTube podcast uh, videos. Uh, you know, comic folks doing a little podcast video, talking about certain things. Anyways, moving on. They were talking about the transgender thing and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> First of all, let me say... I don't have a problem with you being you and doing your own thing. I don't care 
it don't make a flip to me as long as you ain't interfering in my life and trying to control me and what I do. Okay, that being said. And also, don't take anything I say too serious. Don't get bent out of shape and don't get your feelings hurt. Okay. All right, moving on after I said that. <coughs> you know, you have to say stuff like that because, you know, you just have to. Anyway, I caught this little clip, this podcast, and it was about transgender. And they were talking about, you know, the military the service. And it was kind of funny because, you know, like, guys have to register for the draft, right? Or if you're a male, when you turn 18, you're illegal. Uh, you have to sign up for the draft. It don't mean you're signing up for the military, you're going in the military, you know, just that and other. It means you're signing up for the draft. And uh, that's all. You sign up for the draft in case there was a, there was a national emergency and they had to pull everybody in and everything, you know, because we got bukus of military. So the draft's the last thing, you know. The draft is after everything. All the ranks, all the branches of the military, all the National Guards, everything. Then, you get the draft. Okay, that being said. <clears throat> um, <laughs> the transgender thing. They were talking about a guy, say say a dude, a biological male, <clears throat> decides he wants to be a female and gets surgery and everything and all this kind of stuff and he he becomes what he thinks he is. Notice what I said. He becomes what he thinks he is and starts living his life that way. Well, guess what? If you say you do this, you're, you're under 18. Anyway, when you turn 18, guess what? You got to sign up for the draft as a man. <laughs> because you're a biological man. You're a, you're a dude. You were born a man. You can't change that. You're born a man. It's in DNA. You're a man. They big up your bones a hundred million years from now and do a DNA test. You're going to show up as a dude, a man. Okay, that being said. All right, now, the twist is, this is where the twist came out. All right. If you're a, a dude and you transition over, pretend you're a female, you get parts of your body chopped off, you get fake stuff put in you make you look like you know give you the appearance you know like put makeup on it's change your appearance all right say you do all that and you're gonna start living your life like you like you're a female well when you when it become 18 you got to sign up for the draft because you are an 18 year old man boom okay now the reverse side if you are a female and you decide you want to be a male, which is impossible, but granting you want to be a male because you feel like you are a male, you think you are a male, so you live your life as a male, you cut your hair short, you, you, you take this, certain whatever it is to make this hair, make hair grow on your face, you grow you a beard or whatever, do whatever. Well, when you turn 18, guess what? You. You don't sign up for the draft. You don't have to sign up for the draft. You think you're a man, but you're not because you can't even sign up for the draft. You can't. Because <laughs> you're a biological female. You're a woman, so you can't sign up for the draft. Now, you can go into the military. You can try out for the military, sign up or whatever. I'm not saying you can't go in the military. I'm saying you 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 are not signed up for the draft, or you can't sign up for the draft. However, that works. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a funny twist to it. Cause now you got all this new generation that 
decide they're going to be, they want to be whatever they get a little fancy and feel like they want to be inside. They want to be outside, like the inside. But in reality of life, you know, legally wise, uh, guess what? The government sees you as your biological uh, DNA. You're male. You're born a male. You're a male. You're born a female. You're a female. Just because you sign up to do surgeries and all kinds of stuff, they still see you as who you are. You can change your name, whatever you want to change your name. You go from go from John to Susie. I don't care. <laughs> the government's gonna identify you as a male. And if you go and get the driver's license and you put down that you're female, then you are lying on a legal document. Plain and simple. So remember that. Anyway, folks, please don't take anything I say serious because I don't give a flip. I come from an era where men are men. So, and women are women. I like when chicks were chicks. Dudes were dudes and chicks were chicks. Now, you know, because when I used to go out, you know, I used to go out in my young days, go out drinking and partying and going to the clubs and this and that and other. And you go ask this girl to dance. You know, you go dance. You may talk a little bit. You may get to know them. It may venture out into more things, you know, extracurriculum activities, you know, hey. But that was back in my time. Nowadays, I wouldn't dare if I was all of a sudden in this day and time and I was a say a 20 something year old I wouldn't dare want to go to a bar club singles bar whatever on the simple fact is that you don't know who the female is and who the dude is you know you go you see somebody over there and you, you know you if I was back in my 20s and I'd have a, my beer goggles on, you know, go ask the girl to dance and get up on the dance floor and, you know, they whisper in your ear and all of a sudden you hear a little manly voice. That ain't going to play off too good. So that's the difference in my time and today's time, you know. Ain't no sense in getting out there and pretending to be something else just to manipulate the, op the you know, somebody else if you don't like something why do you want to look like that you know but anyway that's each individual's choice in life but it hinders other people's lives because you know just like I said I wouldn't dare go to a club nowadays that's why I don't party I don't go out to bars and stuff like that because you just don't know who people are anymore this day and time has got confusion going on, and uh, that's why I distance myself from all types of stuff like that. I don't discriminate towards you wanting to be that way, you be that way. I don't have a problem with it. It doesn't affect my life at all. I mean, I'm not going to get up and... and, and, and uh, feel hatred or, or anything different. Um, I'm just saying that it's changed the world and that I'm glad that I didn't have to deal with this kind of stuff back when I was in my 20s. Partying and carrying on. Because I got drunk back in my 20s. Partying. Carry it on. So, this day and time, it's just out of hand. And I'm just glad that I'm not a part of it anymore. When I say not a part of, I'm not a part of partying and going out and clubbing and stuff. You know, people want to know why I sit at home on the weekends. Well, because out in the world, all these bars and joints and clubs and all, you got all this crazy stuff that's going on and it's in there and people are doing their thing 
and I just don't want to get caught up in that kind of mess because it's not my thing, you know. So I live true to who what I am, but it doesn't mean it. What I say is right or wrong. I'm just stating my opinion on how I feel about certain things. And like I said, I didn't have a topic to start off with, but that just jumped in my head and I went with it. Now give me your thoughts and ideas about that. Uh, I would say put it in the comment section, but as usual, you got people out there that, you know, if you say the wrong thing in the comments, they're going to they're gonna hate on you and, and post hateful comments so anyways but anyways that's just that's just a topic we're just moving on like we always do yeah people live their own lives you can live yours and i'm just talking about that because it was on the podcast and it was just something about that that i was trying to trying to analyze i thought it was kind of funny that you know you can pretend to be a man, but when it comes to draft, you can't even be drafted into the military because you're not really a man. You think the government backs you on what you are, but, uh, oh look, gas prices back there went back up. The 349 back there at the Shell Station. My goodness. What wonder why they went back up. <laughs> Oh, price gouging at its best. Um, anyway, like I say, don't take anything I say serious on my channel. All these morning videos, it's just the topics that pop into my head, the thoughts that are in my head. I try to flush my head out, try to get everything out of my mind before I get to work so I can focus on doing my job, doing it to the best of my ability. I don't hate on nobody. I pretty much I love everybody there's some people in this world that I do despise but those individuals are in their own elements I don't I don't mingle or whatever with them they do their thing I do mine but everybody else I love you appreciate you Yeah, just living my life. So, this is actually uh, Kings Bay Highway on my way to work right here. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I was fixing to say, and it just left my mind just like that. Anyway, I do appreciate y'all hanging out with me this morning. I know the topic this morning was a little wishy-washy. If I got some friends out there, if I got some subscribers, or anybody out there is watching my video and feels offended or thinks that I hate them because of their certain feel a certain way or whatever, I do not hate you because you feel a certain way. If you think you're a certain this and that and other, I do not hate you. I do not. It does not matter in my life. It doesn't have anything consequences in my life I'm just talking about the funny thought of you can change everything yet the government still sees you as who you were born as that's all I'm saying so don't get bent out of shape don't get your feelings hurt tough it up don't be a cream puff anyways this is a cold, hard world. Cold, hard world. <laughs> Folks, I've enjoyed this little conversation we've had this morning. How about you? It may make you laugh, make you giggle, I mean, or it may just steam you a little bit. I don't know. I don't know why. Hey, the life is life. You know, I'm just telling you my thoughts of how I see things uh, uh, out in the world. Uh, I don't, I don't uh, disagree with uh, other per other people's uh, thoughts and ideas. I just, I stay to myself. I got to live my life and I got to protect my temple here. This is my world. I only get a short period of time on this life. My hourglass is slowly running out. Each day, each moment is a grain of sand. The days of our lives. 
So I just live them for me until my sand runs out. All this will be washed away. You can watch my videos on YouTube after I'm long gone. Hopefully YouTube won't take them down. My kids, children, grandchildren, generations can see them, watch them, see how I was, see how I thought. That's what it's all about. People are too worried about other people to they forget about how they're uh, forget about their own self. Look in the mirror. You gotta look in the mirror. I look in the mirror every morning and I see who I am, what I am, and how I am. Don't have no regrets. Anyway, folks, we pulling up at the truck yard this morning. We've had another wonderful morning of talking. Got my talk therapy in there. That's what this is. It's a talk therapy just for me to be able to talk. Get all the stuff out of my head so I can get focused on work. Don't take nothing I said serious. Don't get all bent out of shape. It'll be all right. <laughs> I'm a good person. I'm a loving person. I appreciate everybody. I don't care what you are. I don't care what you do. Uh, as long as you ain't harming someone else, causing pain on somebody else, you're okay. So anyway, folks, we're going to roll up on this truck yard this morning. We're going to get this company vehicle checked out so I can crawl up in that little, what is it, maybe a three or four by six or seven cell. And I'm going to be confined in that prison cell for the rest of the day, doing my thing, making somebody rich, but it just ain't me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're going to get it done. We're going to have another wonderful day. Y'all smile at the world. Share some smiles, brighten somebody's day, make somebody feel good. Life is good. You got to, got to, got to keep your head above the water. It's going to be a good day, my friends. It's going to be a good day. Friends, until next time, until you hear my voice again. I want y'all right down on the bottom right, hand, bottom right hand corner. Click that subscribe button. Jump aboard my channel and ring the bell so that you get notified when I post my next video. You never know. Nothing is rehearsed. I don't have a set production schedule. So click that bell. Get notified when I post my next video. You never know what I might video. And for sure, for sure, if y'all got to be out and about on the highways and byways today, do be safe, be courteous, and be nice. And do help somebody if you can. But above all, Let's keep it positive, my friends. Let's stay positive. I know we're going to have to fight some battles and some struggles and some hardships. But always keep a pocket full of positive vibes that you can kind of like use as reinforce ammunition to help you out through the day. That's what it's for. And positive vibes is to help you make it through those hard times in life. Folks, I'm fixing to jump out the cab here. We're fixing to get this truck checked out. We're fixing to start this day. We're fixing to get some production done. Are y'all ready for it? <laughs> Folks, this is Mr. Jimmy. Peace out.